Hello everyone, my name is Rochelle Rodriguez and I'll be giving a book report on the book This Will Be My Undoing by Morgan Jerkins. So what exactly drew me to selecting this book? Well, if you look at the cover, the bold yellow font, I found very aesthetically pleasing with the black and white background. Not only that, but the statement underneath the book, it reads, living at the intersection of black female and feminist in white america from that statement i immediately knew that i wanted to read this book and i knew it was going to be a personal story of morgan so i wanted to learn more now um one idea expressed in the book that i really connected with was in chapter four where she described how she envisioned her future uh she said that since a young age she assumed that she would be married at the age of 22 that it was a perfect age and that most of the women in her family married young so for some reason i too thought that i would be married young and would have kids by the age of 22 I feel like this does happen because of um, the cultural idea that women need to marry young and have kids young to live a fulfilled life and now society has changed and those ideas um, I guess now is more acceptable if one doesn't marry or decides to be single the rest of their lives. I feel like this is a good thing because people don't feel that societal pressure anymore and allows them to live more freely and make decisions of their own. One idea expressed in the book that I struggled with was Morgan's experience auditioning to be a cheerleader. This was in the very first chapter of the book and Morgan is aspired to be a cheerleader because her mom was also a cheerleader growing up. She explained how she felt privileged to be light-skinned because the white girls would give her tips along the way. I felt like Morgan poured her heart and energy into her audition. Therefore, when I read that she did not make the team, I was devastated. I did not find it fair that not one single person of color made the team. It showed how the judges were not inclusive. And coming from a diverse community, this was hard to read because I felt that Morgan deserved better. Morgan described that during an argument with her neighborhood friend, her neighborhood friend actually said, you know why they didn't accept you to be on the team? And it was because, quote unquote, they do not accept monkeys like you. Now that statement really broke me because it reminded me that a person is not born racist, it is learned. In what way did your thinking shift after reading this book? Well, after reading this book, I felt that I got a better understanding of how it is for a black woman to live in America. Although it might only be a snippet of the struggles black women face, I empathize their struggles. Some of the issues mentioned I was already aware of, but being able to read a book with first person point of view brings a whole new level of connection and understanding. Throughout the book, I could envision every moment she explained. One moment while reading the book that was emotional for me was when she was waitlisted for Princeton. She was so upset because she felt that the odds of her being accepted were very slim to none. When she got the call that she was accepted, I felt so much joy for her, wishing I could give her a hug. I see how resilient Morgan is and how her experiences shaped her to be the person that she is today. Morgan is inspiring because she did all the things that others say people of color cannot accomplish throughout their lives. Whenever she was curious about something, she went and did it, like going to Japan or when she learned how to speak and write Russian. I now feel inspired to learn a new language. Morgan touched on the subject of beauty standards in America. She would relax her hair in order to make it straight. 
At some point, she did not go into the pool because she knew what it would do to her hair. I wish beauty standards were not a thing as it gets in the way of people being their authentic selves. And I feel like I too have been influenced by beauty standards. This book made me realize that black women have to go through so many obstacles just to fit in America. How might your behavior change after reading this book? After reading this book, I feel like one's behavior might change by being more considerate of other situations. This book gives a person a different perspective on life. It gives a perspective of not only being a person of color in America, but a woman of color. Being a woman brings a whole other set of struggles. If someone who is not a person of color reads this book, I hope it would give them an understanding of what a woman of color goes through. I hope they realize that they are privileged for the color of their skin. I know that Morgan wrote about the day she found out her ancestors were slaves. She mentioned that she is a product of her ancestors' mistreatment due to her light skin and how she felt guilty. If someone who does not know that side of history and reads this book, they will be shocked. They will now have a new piece of information that they can reflect on throughout their life, which will hopefully make them more empathetic. One cannot judge a person based on their skin color. Morgan tells her story to teach other women of color and let them know that they are not alone. Women could hopefully connect with Morgan and learn that they are strong. People might become more kind to themselves as a woman. Morgan inspires people to embrace their natural hair and she brings awareness to many topics related to living in America. These fears are constant as the mistreatment of people of color still exists. I thank Morgan for writing this book and I recommend this book to anybody, especially women of color. Thank you for listening to this book report.